Hey folks, AJ the CEO, and <laughs> I'm telling you, it's like, I don't want this to always be that I'm just talking about all the new stuff that AI can do, but man, did you see all the new stuff that AI can do? And I think the main thing I like to bring to your attention is from a ministry standpoint. So many people from the church, they're the last ones to try and embrace technology, and I want to just show you just how powerful a lot of these tools. So I'm just going to give you five that I use, and then one, the last one, is... If you can see what I'm talking, what they say, if you can see it with your spiritual eye, I mean, your spiritual imagination, I'm telling you, this is going to be a game changer for your ministry. So the first tool that I use all the time, the, 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 the GOAT, if you want to call it, is ChatGPT. I use this thing all the time in different things. So let me cut over here and I'll just show you an example of stuff that I've done that I actually just recently did. So here, I just finished doing um, an install of doing some video distribution down in St. Paul's um, Church of God in Christ. And while I edit, edited, something in DaVinci Resolve didn't go right. And my timestamps, my 4K editing, none of that went through. It just went out through 1080p, whatever. So instead of me going back through and writing down the timestamps of everything inside of this video that I'm playing right here, if I go to the back end right here, um, instead of me going through and naming all this other stuff, what I did is just use the chat GPT and one of the GPTs that's in there, um, a standalone type of feature, to make my timestamps. So let's go use something, for example, something completely different. So let me, let, let, let's go play around with a church stuff. Well, no, I don't want to use somebody else's stuff. I'll use mine, so I don't want to get in trouble for that. So let's say I go over here to, let's, all right, so here's um, the crunch time video that we have from TCF. So what I'm going to do is take this link, go over here to chat GPT, and I'm using the Vox script. So I just come in here and say, please, because I'm still nice, even though it's a computer, please suggest timestamps for this video separated by commas and then i paste the link hit enter it's going to read through the stuff now again you need to make sure that the video is unpublished i mean unlisted or public you can't have it private because this can't view it so it's going to read through the video it's going to summarize it and then it's going to give me our timestamps so that people can quickly jump to it. Now, timestamps, I've already talked about that, is very, very, very important for your ministry. If you're live streaming and your service is over an hour long, give people timestamps or chapters so they can jump to the part that they like instead of holding them hostage to make them watch through the whole thing and scrub and they might miss something. So right here, it gave me some timestamps here. So let's go ahead and copy these. Let's go over to the video here. And I'm just going to make what I normally do here. Time stamps. You don't have to do that. I just do it. And then we're going to paste this. And we're just going to separate these and put them in a row. Again, YouTube can still read it if it's like this. I like it to do it like this because it makes it easier for people to see. Now, just imagine, like I said, you could easily do this for your service. Just know it may take some time if it's a long video or a long stream for it to be looked at to analyze this. Now, sometimes I've noticed trying to run this against a live stream, it does not work. So um, play around with it. Maybe it'll be, it'll be different then. So now we got our timestamps and I'm gonna open this up first. And as you can see, I have no timestamps at all on this. So now let's save this. Now that it's updated, now let's refresh it and boom, there are our timestamps already made and it just took less than a minute to produce that. That's one great way that you can use um, ChatGPT. Now, another one, again, we're still using ChatGPT with this, um, just showing you other tools of how you can use this. So let's go to the same video since we're already on it and it already has a, um, Trans, um, transcription down here. 
So if you have a long video, it's going to be pretty long. So in here, this is pretty much everything that I ever said in this video. And I'm going to toggle off these transcriptions. And I'm going to come in here and select everything. Like I said, I was doing a lot of talking in this video. And this may not work because of how long the video is. Um, so you might want to do this in shorter sections if you want to. So let's go here and let's go back to our regular chat GPT. And I'm going to say, please summarize this and I don't mean to be yelling at it. This text. I don't need music there. And boom, it just shortened and summarized everything that I just did in that video into three paragraphs. Um, they spelled my name wrong, but AJ reports on a series of tasks and challenges encountered while setting up projectors, audio, and networking equipment in Ashburn. Initially, they moved the projectors to a beam and dealt with alignment issues. And then despite these hurdles, they managed to get some projectors in place and cables organized. However, the power situation remained unresolved. AJ highlighted ongoing efforts. So really cool. So now, now, let me jump back into the ministry standpoint. Just imagine... And, and if you've been in church long enough, you know this to be true. 80% of people forget what you preached about by the time they walk out the door. And by a week goes by, the last 20% forgot about 80% of that 20% has forgotten it as well, too. So think about this. You can now do a summary of your sermon. Now, my video was 25 minutes long. So if you're preaching longer than that, you might want to chop it up. But say you're doing this, you can summarize this, and now you can do a blog post on your website, social media, whatever, as a summary and a Cliff Notes version of the message. So it gives the high points of it. Let AI summarize it, and that's the second feature that I have used multiple times with this. Now, I'm going to stick <laughs> with, the, um, with ChatGPT because there's a lot of things that you can do with this. Now, the other thing when it comes to this, I'm going to go back to Vox because it needs to be able to read the video. This is the only one that I'm aware of right now that can actually read the text of your video. So I'm going to come here as well, too, and I'm going to use the same video again. Let's copy this link one more time. And I will say, please write a YouTube description in two paragraphs about this video. And why do I still have cap lock on? Let's do that again. Please write a two paragraph summary YouTube, well, that's summary, YouTube description for this video. We give it that. And it's kind of similar to the summary. The summary is a little bit longer so that you can put it on um, your post. And I restricted it to, to two paragraphs. Let's actually change this again. And I want to change it because I want this to be a description that's going to be short. Write a one paragraph. All right, so join AJ the CEO in this detailed walkthrough of a challenging project at TCF from initial setup to projector alignment issues and blah, blah, blah. So there you go. Now, I'm updating my video for the same thing because I didn't really have that much of a description here. So I'm going to replace this with my description there. And another, to, another way that you can use this for your ministry is say, also, please suggest tags for this video as well. And I'm going to go separate these with commas. So now, even though tags are not that important, more is hashtags that are more important. Now I got my tags. I can come down here to my tag section 
and I just paste them. Boom, there are my tags. That will jump out some more. And our last one, that was three. This is four. I'm just going to use the same tool. All right, we're going to go through different tools, but I'll just show you how powerful um, OpenAI and you can use for your stuff. And I'm now going to say suggest four hashtags for this video. I think it's still limited to three, but we'll go with that. And I'm probably going to change one of these because I normally have hashtags at the bottom of my video anyway. And see, I have eMissionary, so I'm going to keep AJ the CEO. I'm just going to replace these. Tech setup, project management, no. I'll leave these. And boom, that's four things that you can do with this. But now, another thing you can do, especially if you're editing your videos, you can actually use AI to translate what you're doing into another language, which is so cool. And it's going to be your voice speaking. And for the most part, it's actually lip synced with you. So I already made a video of this. So let me show you exactly what you can do with this thing. See, now the beauty of AI is you can use this to translate into another language. Like, for example, I am now speaking Spanish. No hablo español, pero adivina que he traducido usando IA y ahora hablo español con fluidez. Y solo imagina usar eso para tu ministerio. Now, that was cool, right? So just imagine, especially now, the um, Hey Jen, actually, you have to pay credits for it. But honestly, I think it's going to be very beneficial. I have a Spanish channel that I really haven't updated that much because I used to pay another service to do a translation. But now, instead of me paying for the translation, I can just use this for credits to do the translation for me. And it's my own voice, which I really love. So just imagine um, not doing the entire service, but having just your sermon now in multiple languages that can reach other people. That's what I think is so cool. And instead of having translations and um, paying people to do this, you can have the service translate for you. Now, always have some other people around you that can verify the translation for you. But I think as this stuff gets, I was going to say as it gets gooder and gooder, but as it gets better and better, um, it's just going to open the door to so much more of what your ministry can do. Now, these were just five things that I play with myself. There are so many more that are coming down the pipe. So be on the lookout for more videos. Hopefully this will just transform your media ministry and allow you not just from the cameras and tech, but using these softwares that are just popping out the woodwork left and right, how they can be used to help amplify and transform your ministry's reach. And I think it's just an awesome thing. If you have any other AI tools that you're using at your ministry, leave them down below. Because again, it's so much new stuff coming out. There's no way for me to track everything myself, but I'd love to see what you got, play around with it, and then bring it to the forefront to everybody else in media ministry that they might be wanting to use it as well to, to enhance their media ministry. So I think that's about it. So if you like this type of content, appreciate a like, consider subscribing, hit that bell. That way you get notified when we come out with other videos to help modernize your media ministry. Thanks for watching, folks. This is AJ. Catch you on the next video later.